Hey guys, it's me, Jay. What's going on? Um, yeah, I have a question to pose to many of the people here that are watching amid the COVID crisis. Is should schools reopen in September, especially those with special needs students? Now, from uh, the third grade to the 12th grade, I attended a, a school for students with disabilities in Albertson, Long Island, New York. And in this school, they offered speech therapy, physical therapy, and occupational therapy. For those that don't know what occupational therapy is, it is a form of therapy that allows and equips students with special needs um, the skills to live on their own or operate on their own in society. Now the debate rages on about whether or not schools across the board should open in September, but specifically those that are most vulnerable to infections from COVID, like individuals with disabilities. Now, I came across this article on Facebook in which this one mother was saying that she would sign a waiver in order for her child to reattend school in September. Now, as a person with special needs, I can sympathize to a certain extent why a person would want to have their needs met in a unique environment such as this school, by the, which by the way is the Henry Biscardi School in Long Island, New York. But I disagree that students should go back at least until there is a viable vaccine for COVID. Why I disagree with this lady is because we're dealing with a population that is, again, vulnerable to not only COVID, but other maybe infectious diseases. And they could be infected easily. Now, like I said, I see both sides of it because parents may be ill-equipped to deal with their child's special needs in terms of therapy that the school is more equipped to deal with it than they are at homeschooling. And you want to them to develop immunities to the ailments. And in order for them to develop immunities, they would need to um, they would need to be exposed to it and then get better from it. But in dealing with COVID, we don't really know the specifics of how you get it and how you don't get it. And plus, the mask that people have to wear to protect themselves, some of the students might not be able to wear this mask. So I think the discretion should be up to the parents but I do feel like if you don't have to send your child to school, you shouldn't. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. 
for more videos about current events, current topics, and such. Peace.